The human heart has essentially four chambers, two ventricles and two atria. In the case of zebrafish, this system is slightly simpler and we only have essentially one ventricle and one atria. I think that zebrafish has a major advantage that it is transparent during early stages of development that allows us to do uh, in vivo imaging of uh, multiple organs during the development. Uh, but it also has the ability to regenerate multiple organs and I think this is a key advantage over other uh, animal models that are used, uh, including mice. So in adult stages, the zebrafish uh, is not anymore transparent but becomes uh, like an opaque specimen. So we needed other different imaging techniques like the MRI and the micro CT to try to understand how this structure is beating in a, a beating heart, for example with MRI, on how is the morphology of this structure uh, more with the micro CT. And the advantage of this was also that uh, with the micro CT we um, didn't need to extract the heart of the fish from uh, the from the entire fish, and so we could actually image the outflow tract and also the connecting vessels of the fish without the need of destroying them or losing them during the dissection. Performing MRI imaging on a beating zebrafish heart is quite a challenge, but the biggest challenge is the oxygen supply for the fish. So we have uh, two possibilities. We can either perform it in a vessel in a closed vessel with floating water through the vessel, then the fish will have a natural movement of the gills. Or we can put it without floating water, and then the gill movement will stop, and we have only the heart movement. We still want to see the heart and the beating heart of the uh, living animal. And um, so we use an intragate flash sequence and this is a retrospective gating technique and with this technique we don't need any external ECG. So um, this is, um, we can then detect uh, the, with the navigator signal, we can detect the uh, physiological functions of the zebrafish. In the adult stages, uh, many diseases uh, regarding the heart can be modeled. For example, the cardiac hypertrophy or uh, another disease that can be modeled is the fibrosis of the heart or different cardiac arrhythmia. And also this can help also to uh, understand better how uh, the function of the heart restores after regeneration, uh, so after myocardial infarction or uh, many other different um, diseases and for example what we are trying to, to understand if zebrafish can also become a model to model diseases affecting the, the big arteries.